What's up, Chode Nation? Today I want to talk about this petition going around change.org to bring George Lucas back to direct episode 9. What's on Jay's mind? Alright, so basically, uh, go to change.org or just Google George Lucas petition. There's going to be this petition that pops up uh, and, and people are trying to um, we'll start a petition to get George Lucas back to direct episode 9. I'm going to go ahead and read it for you because I don't want to misquote anything. But the uh, petition says... Bring George Lucas back for the Star Wars movies. Put the father of the franchise as director of episode nine. We really want this, please. We have no problem with Colin Trevorrow, but he's not the right guy to direct Star Wars episode nine. George Lucas, is, George Lucas as director of episode nine would be the perfect way to end this new trilogy and make an epic farewell between the father of Star Wars and the whole universe of the galaxy far, far away. Uh, we would like to see him again involved with the franchise. Thank you so much. Uh, who started this? I don't know, some dude in Brazil, uh, Yuri, Yuri Luiz, doesn't even matter. There's about 23,000, uh, almost 24,000 signatures on this petition. Um, Colin Trevorrow, who if you don't know, directed Jurassic World, uh, he responded to it actually. He was asked about it in an interview with uh, E.T. And he says, it's funny, I saw that. And it was on a day where I was at Lucasfilm giving this big speech to everyone about how we want to channel the invention and just the raw creativity and the boldness that George brought to these films and not being afraid that we're going to embarrass ourselves by doing something that might be crazy. He goes on to say, when George Lucas made Star Wars, a lot of people thought it was crazy. When you try to pitch what that movie's about, if you've never heard of Star Wars before, you say, here's a character. His father's part robot, but he can also do magic. And there's a guy who can fly in a spaceship, and he's got a dog for a friend. That sounds insane, but it's the greatest story ever told. I just want to embrace that kind of invention and creativity that he brought to it. So, a couple things. One, Mr. Trevorrow, kudos to you. Perfect response. You, you, you answered the question without answering the question. Um, is that a a uh, political sidestep? Sure, but. You're, you're, you're in a no win. I think what you said was perfect. Uh, if you if you bash the petition, people are going to take it as you're bashing uh, George Lucas or bashing the movies. If you if you say yeah, bring him back, well then you're you're cutting yourself out of a job, which is just stupid because you got to put food on the table. Secondly, this petition, um, what is it really going to do? Not much, not much except for tell people, hey, we want George Lucas back to to, to direct this movie. Um, Will, will it change anything? As of now, Colin Trevorrow is is billed to direct the next Star Wars film. Will this petition change anything? Will this petition even even get to you know a hundred thousand signatures? Which is is I guess that's kind of significant. Maybe. I don't think so. Honestly, I don't. I don't think it's going to matter. I don't know. I mean, George George Lucas. He's he's well. He sold it off for a reason. He didn't want to do the movies. Uh, if he wanted to do the films, if he wanted to direct the films, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have sold it. In my opinion, um, I don't think this petition is going to do much. Uh, the guys, you know, I'm kind of irritated with the petition because basically what you're doing is saying, hey, this guy sucks. He's not good enough. Let's hire this guy. Um, how would you feel if I went to your job and knocked the dick out of your mouth? And because you know, that was your way of making money. Wouldn't like it too much, would you? Um, I don't. Uh, also, let's say this petition does pick up so much ground that that you know jj abrams says or disney or whoever's in charge says okay we're bringing george lucas back um what what good is that going to do when everyone's just going to gripe about it everyone's going to bitch and complain about how he didn't do it right because that's all anyone has ever done with all six of the movies to this point bitch and complain about what george has done to the movies because he changed this he changed that you know he didn't cast this person he didn't cast that whatever okay um honestly i hope i hope he stays away if I was George Lucas, I'd say fuck you because of all the bullshit that he gets. Um, my last video, my last top five video was Star Wars video. I read all the stupid fucking comments in that and it was enough to make me go crazy. I can't imagine the bullshit that George Lucas has to read and, and that he has to, to uh, the, the, the hate that he has to endure. I wouldn't do it. I'd say, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. But no, I, you know, he, he's going to do a good job. He did a good job with Jurassic World. He's got a, a bright future ahead of him. I handed over the reins, and because of that, um, I don't need to jump back into the driver's seat. Just my opinion. So, Lucas, if you see this, enjoy retirement. Tell everyone to eat a dick. 
I wouldn't do it because no matter what you do, how you do, people are going to bitch about it. That's what's on my mind this week. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. If you got a topic you want to hear me run my mouth about, put it in, this, in the comments. If I like it, I'll make a video. Later, chodes.